Hi and welcome to my eighth HTML tutorial. Today we are going to move away from learning about making all kinds of lists and concentrate on colors. How we change the background color and the text color of our document or website. And also how we can change the color of uh, just a word or two. Let's just uh, put in the body tag and uh, make a sentence. This is basic HTML and a lot of this is now done in uh, CSS cascading style sheets which we will learn about later on. Okay, let's uh, save this uh, document and see how it uh, comes out. Our basic sentence. What we do is uh, we add some attributes to our body tag and these attributes let you declare many ways to change the color scheme of uh, many things that you will be adding to your website. That includes how a link looks both before and after you've clicked on it but that part we'll leave out for now. The default colors will uh, most likely be a white background and a black text. But the attribute we will be using now is BG color for a background. And right behind the body tag, we'll write BG color. And then the color name. And we'll do gray. We'll save it and test it out. And the background becomes gray. Now the text will have the attribute text and we'll try out uh, green, save it and the text becomes green. I've already taken away the green here but what we can do is we can have uh, both uh, background color and text at the same time of course. BG color equals um, black text equals white we'll save it and check it out and that's how simple it is now you might or might not want to change the color of your text but sometimes you do want to highlight special words or sentences of interest in our case, we want to highlight or change the color of the word HTML. And the way we do that is by introducing a font tag. And we place the font tag right in front of uh, the word we're going to highlight, which is HTML. Font, that's our tag. And uh, color is our uh, attribute equals blue and the font tag needs an end tag which we place right behind the word HTML like that and we don't need to put the word color in here it's just a tag we save our um, document and we check out to see if we got it and you can see that HTML is now in the blue. There are two ways to specify colors in HTML documents. Either you can use the color name as we have done here or you can use a color code known as an RGB code. That stands for the colors red, green and blue 
and these number codes is measured using a hexadecimal system. You can Google that, but by using the RGB coloring code, you can define many more colors than you can by just writing the names of uh, the colors because there are only so many colors that HTML or your browser understands. If you Google HTML colors, you're going to get tons of pages showing you the different colors for HTML. And right now we have w3schools.com up here. And uh, if we go down here, we're going to get uh, the hex colors. And we're going to use red. And this is a code we want instead of writing the word red. But if we take a look down here, you're going to see all these red colors. And they all have a hex number here. Same thing with gray and all the other colors. So you see, there are tons of colors that you can use. Now, hexadecimal colors are preceded by a number sign, so include it if you copy and paste from the internet, which we are going to do right now. And let's go back to our notepad. And instead of blue HTML, we're going to uh, change that and we're going to put in red with the hex code, the RGB numbers. Save it and HTML becomes red. Just a little bit of information before we're done here. Let's say you change the word HTML to a different color, for example red as we have done here and then change the text color of the document to white afterwards. The HTML word will still be red. And we're using the font tag for one word, but you will see this done in many headlines on the internet. That covers today's tutorial, and see you next time.